All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna go hook the battery up. Fire up. Whoa. What the heck? Abort mission. Oh, I guess we're all right. I don't want to say anything yet, but we don't have any warning lights. Other than getting, you know, a little carbon monoxide, that's okay. It seems to be working. All right, so let's go ahead and get all this crap out of the way. All right, now that that's done, we've got this Matra double din faceplate we're gonna have to reinstall. Oh, she's free. All right, old stereo is out. We're done with you. I'm gonna save this thing though. In case I ever wanna get rid of this vehicle, I can swap it back in and keep this radio. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy. All right guys, so we got everything hooked up. All the wires tied back. The last thing I'm gonna do is hook up this USB cable. Actually, this is the microphone. I think we're gonna hook this up too, why not? <sighs> Boom. Got all kinds of butt plugs in this thing. All right, so I'm gonna pull back this rubber weather seal right here so I can run my microphone up through. Yeah, I'm just gonna run this along here off camera. All right, guys, so the microphone is installed. The airbag and all that crap was kind of in the way, so I just snaked it up through there. She's set. I don't think she's gonna go anywhere. Now I just gotta find out how to get my USB cable to come out there. It was a little blank plug that I pulled out of there, so I'm sure on a different option, there was a factory USB in there. All right, you guys, so I got the USB hooked up finally. Everything that I want, for the most part, is hooked up and she's ready to be installed. <sighs> Ew. I'm excited for this. This thing's gonna look sharp in there. That's what I'm talking about. Boom! Time to install the trim panels, baby. Can't forget to reinstall my clock. Am I supposed to install this first? I am. God, I'm about to rage! Ah! I'm just kidding, that was fake. Last trim piece, baby. I guess I probably should have wiped that thing down. It's gonna bug me. Always do it right, kids. Get all that nastiness cleaned up here. Years of vegan food down in here. All right, it's Tanner the tool man. Time to clean up his tools. Last thing, I'm gonna hook up the battery, get it pulled out of the garage, and we should be good. This is actually a brand new battery, 1119. That's what I'm talking about. So the owners that I bought it from were not lying, which I didn't think they were, but that's just nice to see. Boom, baby. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands, and then let's finally get to play with this radio. Hopefully it works. Woohoohoo! Check this thing out. That looks sharp. Okay. Radio. Let's make sure all speakers work. Fashion detailing .wordpress.com to schedule your appointment today. Sounds like it. Or like most of our clients, we'll come to you. You can't get So we got the home button here. What happens if we hit it again? Okay. You got Pandora, Bluetooth, all this stuff. All right, that's way easier to turn and volume up and down than I thought, so I'm not gonna miss my tactile buttons too much. It's very responsive. 
Ooh, I can turn the display off just like that. I'm sure I can change the color of these buttons. Oh yeah, there we go. Illumination, green. Match the rest of the vehicle. Background, ooh, let's change that up. That's sexy right there. I'll be able to upload my own background too, which is cool. But the main reason I got this radio is for CarPlay, so let's try that out. As you guys can see right there, I ended up routing the USB cable through that. I'm going to try to find a plug specifically for that so it looks better. But I'm going to go ahead and plug my iPhone in, and we'll see what happens. Come on, baby. This is why I bought you. Perform for me. Oh, my gosh. That is it. All right, so I've been playing with CarPlay for a little bit. It works flawlessly. I'm really happy with it. Let's try out one of my favorite features. Hey, Siri. See how well she can hear me. Hello. How's it going? Good. Can you hear me? Yep. I am contacting you from my new radio. Oh, snap. Yeah. Awesome. Was it a pain in the butt? It wasn't easy, but it's done. Good, good. Oh, I'm glad all the wiring worked out then. Yep. Awesome. Do you have it all put back together or not yet? Yeah, it's done. Oh my gosh. You sound clear. Good. Perfect. Awesome. I won't buy the other stuff. It's not worth it. For your for the steering wheel? Yeah, that's the only thing I lost. Yeah. Oh well. It's not worth two hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Well, she works. Let me go ahead and fix my clock. Boom! Well, you guys, needless to say, I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. Super clean install. As you can see, you have all of the standard apps here. And pretty much anything that you have downloaded that's compatible with CarPlay will show up. So you can see, I mainly use YouTube Music because I pay for the YouTube Red subscription. A messages, maps, music, phone. You can do all kinds of stuff with this thing and it's really simple. It looks super nice. It turned out really good. So that is it. Thank you for struggling with me. We got it done. First try, everything worked. I'm happy with that. Like I said, I've never installed a car stereo before, so all that I did was match up the correct wire color and I probably should go back and solder it or use some better connectors, but it works. If it ever stops working, I'll pull it out and do it. It's not that big a deal. Thankfully, all the trim pieces in this Tesla are really easy to pop out, so we didn't break anything. Not a single tab was broken. It looks like a shop did it, so I'm happy. Let me know what you guys think of this radio. Let me know if you've used CarPlay or have it in any of your vehicles. If you guys know any tricks, I'd like to be able to watch YouTube from it, but of course it won't let you do that, even when you're in park, which is kind of lame. But I bet there's a way around it. The only way that I figured out so far is to jailbreak your iPhone, which I'm not about to do that. If I wanted to go through that hassle, I just buy an Android in the first place, but I like to keep it simple. I probably shouldn't be on YouTube while I'm driving anyways. So I'm really happy with it. Like I said, 190 bucks. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below. So if you're looking to upgrade your stereo, this will work in a lot of vehicles and you can just do a few searches and there's several websites out there that tell you what harnesses you're going to need and you can go ahead and buy those. But for the money, this stereo is fantastic. Like I said, I just wanted the CarPlay function. That's all I'm going to use. The microphone works great. As you heard, I'm happy we did that. There isn't a CD slot on this, which is fine for me. I I don't use CDs or watch DVDs, but I'll figure out a way to play some videos on this in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Plenty of more Tesla camper mods to come soon. I didn't show you the big package that I got today. I want to put some time into that video and give that company the recognition it deserves. So that'll be coming very soon. Be patient. I think I'm going to do that video when I go out on my maiden voyage in this thing, which will be very soon. We'll just do a little test run down south. By south, I mean like Hawking area. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm thankful for all of you that are interested in this project i'm loving this tesla more and more every day but make sure you hit that like button so that's gonna do it i gotta get home thank you all for watching and we'll see you tomorrow